Hello, today I'm going to be um, showing you this bidet toilet seat. Um, it has a heated seat cover along with the bidet spigot on it, and my husband's going to be helping me install it. Inside the box, you will get the instructions along with all the hardware you will need to install the smart toilet seat. First, you'll want to take off your old toilet seat cover and make sure the water is turned off. Then you'll want to take the mounting base off of the new toilet seat, then install the accessories as shown in the diagram in your manual. It'll go anchoring, rubber, mounting base, steel disc, gasket, and then the screws. And you'll want to make sure that the connection area is all free of water and then you are going to connect the three-way valves end with the upper water pipe of the toilet tank and connect the smallest end of the three-way valve with a PE pipe. Connect the other end of the PE pipe with the inlet hole of the machine. To install the smart toilet, push the machine with both hands towards the toilet until the installation is in place. You might have to adjust it, so to take it off, you just have to pull it towards you with both hands. Adjustments are super simple to make, so that way it'll fit your toilet perfectly. Make sure to remove any remaining plastic or tape, and then you can plug in your smart toilet. Once plugged in, the floodlight and water temperature light will flash, and it will do a pilot run. Turn on the water source and the water temperature light will flash. After 30 seconds, the water temperature light stops flashing and stays on, indicating that the machine has completed the self-test. There is a skin sensor, so that way it will not go off unless somebody is sitting on the toilet. And here is the control panel up close. You have the power button right here that is red, so you can turn it on and off. And you also have your temperature settings for the seat and also your water temperature. You can also adjust the dry temperature. There's also a save electricity mode along with all the other buttons of the stop and the bidet. And there's also a light button so you can have a light on in the toilet or you can have it turned off. Just so you can see it working, I have my hand on the sensor and we we're gonna catch the water in a bucket. The nozzle also cleans itself at the end.